This is Twit. I'm here with, eh, some might call it the better of the choices for Android Wear 2.0 devices right now. It's the Huawei Watch 2. I was a big fan of the original Huawei Watch. This one's a little bit sportier. Let's dive into the specs and see what we think here. It's a 1.2 inch uh, AMOLED display, 390 by 390. That AMOLED display is going to be good on the battery. Uh, four gigs of onboard storage, not a whole lot. NFC, GPS, Bluetooth, heart rate monitor underneath if you want to you know, use that in some of the fitness aspects. Uh, there's a speaker on board here for taking calls. This particular model doesn't have a SIM card slot, but you can get, get that feature. And even without, you can do Wi-Fi calling routed through your phone. So that's a nice feature. Um, and like I said, NFC, so you can do mobile payments. That's another feature of Android Wear 2.0. So it's got some of the specs uh, that you're looking for to support Android Wear 2.0. Let's dive into the design. This outer number ring bezel is made of ceramic, uh, though it doesn't rotate. A lot of people see this and think it's going to rotate. Sorry, divers, you're not going to go uh, diving with this. The included watch strap, I feel like, is a little cheap looking uh, and kind of, I don't know, just kind of cheap, uh, essentially. But you can swap that out. The straps are totally removable, so that's nice. The watch design as a whole felt a little too casual, a little too sporty for me, especially when you compare it to the original Huawei watch uh, at first. But I, I would say that I came around to it over time. And when I worked out at the gym wearing it, it felt right at home on my wrist. Uh, big props for being super comfortable and pretty light compared to a lot of the other uh, wearable devices that I've worn. You almost forget that it's on your wrist. And then as you can see, two buttons on the side for shortcuts. Those are assignable as you like. The display is AMOLED, like I said. It's really sharp. I'd say 390 by 390 is, is right about where it needs to be. And by the way, it's good in sunlight. I had no problems in sunlight there, so I like the display a lot. The big selling point for this watch, in my opinion, is its battery life. It's a fantastic wear device if battery is most important to you. Uh, just as an example, I charged it up on Friday morning. I wore it all through the weekend. It wasn't until about sometime on Sunday that it switched into something called watch mode. Watch mode is a low power mode that extends the battery. I didn't even have to charge it up until Tuesday morning. It only gives you the time and it counts your steps. Everything else, like notifications, all that is shut off. So it makes that watch that's on your wrist actually usable throughout that time. Very nice feature for people wanting better battery life out of their wearable. Uh, as far as performance, I missed the digital crown found on some other watches, <laughs> strangely. Uh, some things like Assistant had a little bit of a stutter and a lag, so things were a little bit slower launching into it. Um, but overall, I thought it was okay. You know, it also includes some watch faces that I feel are a little on the cheesy side, uh, but to each their own. Overall, uh, the long-lasting battery, the comfort and relatively small footprint, I think are the selling point of the Huawei Watch 2. Uh, this is $299.99. You can also get a classic for $369.99. Overall, I was really won over overtime with the Huawei Watch 2. Initially, it felt just a little too casual, but at a certain point, I really got used to it, and especially the battery life and the comfort. Uh, I, I think you're going to have a hard time finding another Android Wear device that matches this on that front. Uh, I'm Jason Howell. Of course, you can catch me on Tech News Today. I'm also doing a whole lot of Android coverage on All About Android each and every week.